to the channel again. I swear to God, it's my new catchphrase. <laughs> but um, yeah, welcome to the vlog. This morning uh, we're actually going to Peter's to install his uh, blow-off valve on his uh, Mitsubishi Evo 10, the Ricer, also known as. And uh, here we go. trip to Ottawa and off to Pete's hi Pete so Mr. Peter received the blow-off valve today yeah, I did. what kind of noise is it gonna make uh, he just did it a second ago you don't want to do it on camera <laughs> when I do this we got Jordan here too when I open it up to full vent to atmosphere, it's gonna make cool loud noises. Like Yeah. But but because I don't have the mapping for that yet, I'm gonna have to run it somewhere around there, which is a little sad. But it's still gonna be cool. So sad. So we're gonna get rid of that stock diverter valve, which I think is gonna get shoved on that Volkswagen actually, because her diverter valve is screwed. We'll see about that. Comment below real YouTube mechanics here if you understand what he says. But I'm, I'm meaning like not internet mechanics. Oh, I love those super techs. I think they know exactly <laughs> what they're talking about and they have not a sweet clue in hell. For me, I, for me, I know how to change tires, do a whole change, that's it. I'm very proud of that. I like making so I'm bolting the old, the old one, eh? Yeah. Yeah, it should probably make my life easier. That zip tie, that zip tie is actually key. When I put that, when I put that huge strut bar on there, the blow off valve was banging under it, so I zip tied it together so that it wouldn't. And if Jordan lets go of it now, it'll hit the. Uh, ah! It'll, it'll make that noise. See what you did there. Yeah, and it'll make that noise, which is just super annoying. See what you did there, Peter. Working so hard, Peter. There's actually three of us here, and only one work. Or now, actually, you hold, you're almost holding the hood. <laughs> old diverter valve is off. Yeah. So sad. <laughs> That's my second, new, second new catchphrase. Anyone did that? Push that in further? Would that not divert it away from that bar? Da, da, da. I don't know. It doesn't go any further anyways, because it'll muck it up up here. Mm -hmm. It doesn't amp, it doesn't hit it at all. Yoda knows best. Not even remotely close and I don't need a zip tie. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can almost guarantee it's going to be one. 
Ratchet it's style. His, his favorite tool is a zip tie. <laughs> I don't know, I like duct tape a lot too, and the air hammer. That's probably like electric thing a lot. Yeah. All right, drop your purse, Peter. Actually, tighten that stuff. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you find there? A remote control drink float. Jesus, Jordan. What? Jesus. <laughs> I think it's a genius idea. All right, well, we got it on there. We got the, the GFB response installed. Big shout out to those guys in Australia that make beautiful parts. Down under. Down under. And now, uh, now Jordan's gonna fire it up and we're gonna, see, uh, we're gonna see how loud this thing screams. Hello. And see how it reacts. It's knowing it's a response. <laughs> response. <laughs> Noises. Beautiful well, noises. Music to me. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right that's gonna do it for the day folks we got jordan here we got peter in the back Woo! and we are gonna see you next time on piston Juggers 302 if you like the videos if you haven't if you haven't subscribed already just hit that subscribe button and i give it a big thumbs up we'll see you next time actually watching street speed 717's uh, reaction for uh the poop that i sent hey peter That's right, people. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> All right, Peter. So we're actually gonna test the uh, GoPro, GoPro case, case, see if it's uh, waterproof. Yeah. Once Jordan is done eating his drumstick, I'm gonna throw it in the pool, see if it's uh, waterproof. <laughs> Fist bump. Sorry for the audio. You probably don't hear shit right now. Peter. Thanks. Still works. <laughs>